Hi guys, welcome back to GP Reactions. I hope you're well, I hope you're having a great weekend. And um, I was kind of like um, considering doing some reactions yesterday on Saturday, but it was kind of such a, it's quite a nice day. So I kind of like decided to kind of go for a walk instead. Um, and I'm kind of glad I'm doing it today because uh, it's kind of really been snowing uh, quite heavily um, outside and um, it's quite a nice kind of pretty kind of, not a backdrop obviously, because you won't get to see it, but I kind of like glancing to my to my uh, right and uh, it looks very kind of bright and white and it's really nice. Um, so yeah, um, it's been a while so I'm going to uh, jump back into the um, Duke tour uh, of Genesis and uh, back to the um, Lyceum Ballroom concert of, I think it was May 1980 and uh, I'm for sure this is the title track of that tour, I guess, um, which is Duke's Travels um, and Duke's End. Not sure if I've ever heard Duke's uh, Travels before and uh, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Um, once it kind of begins, I might be able to kind of um, uh, have a better idea if, if um, I kind of uh, know the song. Um, I was kind of very selective about the Genesis I listened to when I was like younger um certain tracks kind of appeal to me more than others and um, my brothers pretty much had all the albums so uh, they were always kind of playing in the background so yeah without further ado and i hope this one doesn't get blocked um this is um genesis with duke's travels uh, and duke's end darkness Loving the drumming. So I'm just going to pause it there. I'm going to take it back to start, but um, I I I do recognise this now, um, and I think it had a slightly longer intro on the album. Uh, it's still quite a vague. Uh, recognition but um, I do kind of recognize that I have heard this before uh, so uh, I'm going to take it back a little bit and um, we'll kind of uh, enjoy the drum intro once more
ones are going to pause it there very quickly and I will drop it back 10 seconds. Um, what kind of like astonishes me with um, with with um, this song is the just to, just to kind of speed that Tony Banks is actually playing those keyboards. Um, I mean the drum the drums is fantastic. It's, it's a real um, element so far of, it, of this of his track. Um, yeah, it's just incredibly uh, masterful performance so far. Um, but I kind of really impressed with the keyboard. It's just um, uh, incredible. Sorry, I did promise I'd put it back a bit. Okay.
So that was uh, that was Genesis with Duke's Travels, um, Duke's End, uh, live at the Lyceum Ballroom from, uh, I think it was May 1980. Um, kind of what's really kind of like, uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I don't feel kind of s satisfied with this because once I started like hearing a track, I suddenly remembered that I kind of remembered the, the uh, track, the album, probably the album version. And, um, and I know there's a bit at the start, so uh, one of the things I kind of really want to do with Genesis is kind of once I'm done with this concert, um, and I have been doing it a little bit, uh, which is like jumping into tracks here and there. Um, I know Duke was like a, a semi-concept album, so I really kind of want to go back and maybe look at each track on an album and I think I want to do that with um, The Land Lies Down on Broadway as well uh, because uh, I know that is definitely like a concept album uh, but I'm pretty sure that Juki is like a half concept album so there is like a theme but it's not doesn't run through all of the tracks I don't think anyway um, yeah I mean I really enjoyed this live performance I, the Duke's End um, and a little bit of the end of Duke's Travel felt like a reprise of um, of all of other tracks that I've already kind of covered, like Behind the Lines and Turn It On Again. Um, but I kind of really enjoyed the uh, the beginning, uh, especially the drum, uh, the drum intro to uh, Duke's Travel, which I know kind of comes back, comes after. Um, uh, it comes after another like instrumental part which um, was missing from this live performance um, yeah it kind of um, it kind of sort of it, it did evoke feelings of to me when I was like kind of listening to the beginning um, sort of midway point I it did actually kind of feel, I felt like I was on a ship um, traveling somewhere um, it kind of really had a weird sort of feel as if I was on a, I don't know, a pirate ship or something, uh, traveling the high seas. Um, so it did actually feel like uh, I was actually traveling, I was on a journey. Um, and of course the, the, the uh, lyrical part of it was, I believe that was um, behind the lines. I think that was like guide vocals from Behind the Lines, Duchess, and Guide Vocals. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And uh, the kind of message was kind of generally the same, um, that you've kind of uh, sort of like screwed screwed up. You've you've had your chances, but now they're gone. And, um, and now you kind of left your own fate, um, which I kind of felt was interesting. Uh, and I'm just gonna kind of re-read re, re, the uh, the actual lyrics on that bit. Um, I am the one who guided you this far. All you know and all you feel. Nobody must know my name, for nobody would understand. And you fear what you don't understand. So there's always a kind of like hint of a uh, religion of faith. And it, once you kind of lose your faith and you abandon that, um, then I suppose if uh, if God exists, then God might then kind of abandon you um, and um, and sort of like. I wouldn't say damn you, but you kind of damning yourself. Um, I call, I call you for I must leave. You're on your own until the end. There was a choice, but now it's gone. I said you wouldn't understand. Take what's yours and be damned. So it kind of feels a bit harsh, but it's almost like God's kind of given given them a choice, um, fate has given them a choice um, to actually um, to actually believe and have faith or or essentially you kind of um, you're left to kind of create your own sort of um, destiny and um, and ultimately if if, um, if if God is the thing and heaven is a the thing then you may not kind of um, that might not be your um, end uh, destination on your travels um, or it could also be um, as I kind of recall from the behind the lines and 
the uh, the guide vocals was it kind of felt like it was as if a mentor was saying you know you've kind of you took me on as your mentor you sort of used me um and then when you became kind of famous you've you've kind of dumped me and and now you're kind of like wanting advice but you know I, uh, you abandoned me i'm abandoning you and so you're pretty much uh, damned damned to whatever you kind of want to be um if you want to make your own mistakes that's fine i'm not going to give you any advice anymore um and i kind of felt that that maybe was an element but uh, overall i enjoyed the song i think um i'm not sure about duke's end uh i'm not sure what the relevance of it was um it was great to kind of see the uh see phil collins um mike rutherford tony banks uh chester thompson Dale sturmer uh, just kind of quality of their musicianship it, um, it never kind of ceases to amaze me um, how skilled they actually are and uh, and uh, there's the speed that Tony Banks was playing the uh, keyboards just um, it's just kind of mind-blowing and I was trying to kind of like figure out how I how my fingers could do that um, towards the end and I just don't have that kind of flexibility it's just uh, it's just great I love musicians because I know it's something I can't do and it's um, it's kind of like magic to me uh <clears throat> so guys hope you enjoyed that um i'm not sure what comes next on their set list um but um i'm sure to kind of come back and explore some live genesis uh, soon um i know this isn't how the concert ends um because the playlist still has like a way to go on the set list um, and i think it ends probably um with a dance on a volcano um, and Los Endos. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to the point where I could get around to reacting to those live as well. So guys, take care of yourselves. Um, please, if you've got any comments, just join me below in the comments. Um, as always, I kind of really look forward to reading your comments and uh, always take time to kind of like read them thoroughly. Um, and I guess that's a, one of the luxuries you have with a uh, with kind of a small channel, it feels more intimate and you can sort of converse with people. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just not, it's actually quite nice to have uh, a small channel like mine um, because I know I'm never going to um, uh, can react to um, music that everybody else is reacting to. I'll always kind of, uh, kind of go my own route with this. Um, so yeah. Um, you know what? Enjoy your day. I hope you're not snowed in if you're in the UK. Um, because I know it's, it's been, um, some would call it a little bit grim with all the snow, but it's quite nice if you don't have to do anything. But uh, tomorrow is Monday and somehow uh, i got to try and figure out how to get to work. Um, so that's always um, an exciting adventure. So I might be going on my own kind of travels tomorrow. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe not on the high seas, but maybe on the high snow, in a bus, possibly. Guys, take care. See you later. Um, I'll have more reactions for you soon.